the book of Esther, there are multiple amazing characters. Obviously, Esther stands alone in her faith and her strength, but I want to talk for a moment about Mordecai, her uncle. Now, this man was an amazing man of faith and a steadfast man. And he was face to face with Haman, who was a man just rooted in evil. And Haman had terrible, horrible intentions for not only Mordecai, but all of the Jewish people. But he had a really special, ugly part of his heart set aside just for Mordecai. He had mean things that he said. He demanded that Mordecai would bow down to him. He fought with Mordecai in, in his words and his actions. He continuously put Mordecai down and tried to keep him below his level. Now on the, on the line of authority, Haman was a man of high authority, but he was not a man of good standing. And when push came to shove, Mordecai was revealed to be a man of not only good standing and good stature, but of steadfast faith. Now bringing this picture to light, Haman had horrible intentions. Mordecai, it is discovered later that the king couldn't sleep. And he asked some of his attendants to come and read for him the chronicles of Persia, of the, king, of the, of the nation in which he was king. And as they're reading it, they discover that Mordecai had saved his life, but no reward had been given to Mordecai. Now, truth be told, Mordecai didn't forget this. He knew what he had done. He knew that he had saved the king's life, and he knew that the king's right hand was out to kill him. But here's the thing. Mordecai never snapped back at Haman. He never felt like he needed to try to put Haman in his place. He never felt like he needed to try and, and, and level with Haman. On, a, on an authority level, he couldn't. But what Mordecai could do was fight in the spiritual. He didn't take on a physical fight. He left Haman hang himself, literally and figuratively. But what Mordecai did was he fought in the spirit. He led Esther and all the Jews of Israel in a fast that God would move and reveal himself in the situation, that God would reveal light and the evil plan that Haman had and that God would stop it. And they fasted together as a nation and God did what only God could do. All of the Jewish people were saved. And Mordecai was rewarded for his bravery and integrity. What does this have to do with you today? Not every battle we face is to be fought in the spirit or is to be fought in the physical, but we can fight everything in the spiritual. Psalms 46:10 says, Be still and know that I am God. You see, a lot of times we take that scripture to mean I'm not supposed to do anything. That's not what that means. It means I don't have to fight the people or the circumstances around me. That's what God's going to do. I can be still in my flesh and active in my spirit. And when I'm active in my spirit, then I can allow God to do even more things than he could do before. So whatever you face today, whatever is happening in your life, I encourage you to fight it harder in the spiritual than in the physical. Let God deal with the details. Let God deal with the things that you can see and the things you can't. Because His light will always shine in the darkness. And when we're still and know that He's God, He will be glorified. And He will show His mighty power when we put Him first in the spiritual. And when we put Him first in the spiritual, He'll be first in the physical.